And we begin today with the newest addition to the royal family. We got our very first glimpse yesterday of Prince William and Duchess Kate's third child, a bouncing baby boy. And it was a whirlwind birthday for the new prince. Kate was admitted to the hospital at 6 a.m. She gave birth at 11 a.m. And, and introduced her son to the world just a few hours after that. Soup to nuts, it was a seven-hour stint, I'm told, in the hospital. Can you imagine? Then she emerged looking amazing. I don't know how she does it. Slightly <laughs> irritating. NBC's Kelly Kobea has all the details of what went down. A family picture for the history books. Prince William, Kate, and their soon-to-be-named baby prince, just seven hours old, sleeping through it all. Kate in her post-baby red dress by go-to designer Jenny Packham, channeling Princess Diana on those same steps with the newborn Prince Harry in 1984. It was absolutely wonderful to see him come out and wave. It's a boy lighting up the skies and spelled out at sea. Michelle Obama tweeting this memorable photo of Prince George and her congratulations on the new prince. We hope to meet him soon for a Kensington Palace pajama party. I'll wear my robe. George and sister Charlotte, the first to visit. Charlotte stole the show, all smiles and waves, heading in to meet her baby brother. Even one last turn to the cameras. The queen, 92 years old and out riding her horse while Kate was giving birth, will be the first to hear the baby's name. It took two days to announce Charlotte's. Same for George. William's name, or names, he's William Arthur Philip Lewis, were made public a week after he was born. Prince Harry and fiance Meghan Markle just might get the inside scoop. No comment from the couple while on official royal business Monday, but their neighbors and Harry already a doting uncle. Now Auntie Meghan is on the scene, it's going to be even better. And of course, will we hear the pitter patter of tiny royal feet? Prince William joking about being a dad of three in a way only a British prince could. Thrice, thrice, worry now. thrice the worry with a third rosy cheeked royal heir. So this family of five is now getting used to that new addition here at Kensington Palace in the uh, cozy, I guess you could call it, apartment 1A, a 20-room, four-story house, essentially, <laughs> inside the palace. Everyone's talking about names, of course. There are a couple of front runners. Prince Arthur is really hot right now. Also, uh, Prince James. James is the name of Kate's brother, James Middleton could also be Prince Albert Meghan. It could be uh, Prince Philip after the baby's great-grandfather. We'll probably have to wait another 24 hours or so to find out, mm. unless they're fast-forwarding everything. But good judges, another 24 hours. All right, well, maybe we'll get lucky and it'll happen in the next hour. Kelly, thanks for the update. <laughs> Joining me now is more royal expert Victoria Arbiter. Victoria, great to see you. Good morning. So what do you think? W within the next day, we'll find out. I think so. I mean, the royal family tends to do things by rote. It was two days for both George and Charlotte. Having said that, the Queen waited a month to release Prince Charles's name, so they're definitely not going to keep us hanging that long. What, so, do, you, do you have tomorrow. any... Any insight on what it might be? I'm going with Prince Philip. Prince Philip, my guess from the beginning has been Arthur, simply because uh, Charles, William, and King George VI all share Arthur as a middle name. Also, the Arthurian legends, there's a, a lovely sort of folklore around that. Um, so, and Arthur's had a bit of a resurgence in terms of being cool again in England, because, of course, they like to choose dynastic names, but you want to make sure your kid's not tortured in school, But too. then, of course, there's the infamous Dudley Moore move me, movie uh, uh, by uh, the same name. I just, want, I just want to put that out there. <laughs> In favor of Philip. Okay, looking at the adorable children, that Prince Charles, Princess Charlotte, yeah. that, that wave, she's a star in her own right, also because she's the first girl not to be bumped out of succession. This is the first girl who's not bumped out just because she now has a little brother to be, to be the ruler. Megan, I get really geeky about this, but this is so significant and so huge. Of course, with Harry and Meghan's wedding, we're seeing the royal family come into the 21st century, finally. But this is uh, as a result of the changes in the laws to succession that were pushed through in 2013. So, yes, this is regarding the British royal family, but it is the first time that a little girl is not being bumped down in the line of succession in the way Princess Anne was when her younger-born brothers, Andrew and Edward, were born. She suddenly dropped down two pegs. So this is really significant. Charlotte, at this very young age, is already making history, but she makes She's a little feminist. As fourth in line. <laughs> and what a year to be a feminist, right? <laughs> That's it's a right. good year.
Uh, now, Kate walks out of the hospital looking better than we look on an average day. I mean, yeah. I was like, no, I, you, you have to love her because she's a picture of Grace, but you also have to hate her just a little bit. I'm sorry. I don't know. How, how does she do it? She loves that this shift dress. Uh, she's worn a similar one for all three births. And can I just show you something? So look at her and how thin she looks. Can I just show you what, what my ankles look like after the birth <laughs> of all three children? I just, I, we have a split screen for you so you can appreciate. This is how it goes for most of us. Stand by. <laughs> look, look at my ankles. They're cankles. That's me on the right. And I, it, they're, look, how does she do it, Victoria? Well, I mean, all I can say is that were you in labor a, a lot longer time? Not to take away I from had your ankles. C-sections. Is that what C-sections do to you, as opposed uh, to natural knows, childbirth? Maybe. Now, of course, Kate did have some assistance. Her stylist went and picked up her dress for her. Her hairdresser was seen going into the hospital, yes. so did. I her did hair not and have makeup. those things. Um, <laughs> she was wearing her nylon hose, as is, is required of, of royal ladies. But yes, I mean, also I thought just the sense of peace and calm and serenity that she seemed to carry with her as well. Of course, there's a confidence having done this twice before, but she did. She just looked so calm and at You ease. could call it confidence or you could call it complete ignorance about what is about to happen to her life. <laughs> <laughs> I, there's a mother of three children, in fact, the same birth order, boy, girl, boy, in my family as well. Um, it does definitely, it, it's, it's, it's harder with three, but I would say, because you heard him saying thrice the worry, and he was saying, Prince William was saying, I'm now not going to get any sleep. Mm -hmm. I would say you lose all the sleep on the second baby, you, like the naps go away on the second baby, and the third is just sort of incremental. I don't, are there any moms of three out there? Right? I don't know. Do, do you think there was a bigger difference going from one to two or two to three? three? Going from two to three. All right, so they're worried for Kate. They're worried. <laughs> do you know, I, well, Michael J. Fox once put it so well. He said with his first baby, he sterilized everything within sight. For the second baby, if, if the dummy fell on the floor, he put it in his own mouth. The third one, he just let the dog lick it. So, <laughs> you know, you just maybe worry in a different way. I've been there, too. Now, can you just talk about the traditions that they followed in announcing this birth? Yes, well, they did follow the traditions, for example, the easel outside Buckingham Palace. Now, that dates back to 1837. So I love that although this news was beamed around the world via Twitter in a nanosecond, they still, they're the royal family. There's nothing they like more than tradition. Yep. So the easel was placed in the forecourt of Buckingham Palace, where it will remain for 24 hours, of course, announcing the birth of the baby with his weight. Mother and baby, of course, doing well. Now, that, that used to be put on the railing, so it's just sort of a slight adjustment. And is it true the Queen was the first to know? Yeah, the Queen would be the first to know. Of course, she was out riding. The Queen loves to be riding. Which is spectacular, isn't it? The sight of her on that yeah. horse. At 92 years old, quite I impressive. But yes, that's done more out of respect to the Queen. Of course, if she can't be contacted, if she happens to be in the thick of riding, she's not going to begrudge the other family members being told first, but they like to tell the Queen I'm first. just picturing the Queen on her horse with, like, her iPhone. <laughs> the, the, the text <laughs> popping up. <laughs> Well, we're going to wait to see. You know, there's all good blessings all around because, of course, the royal wedding is happening now in 25 days. Pippa Middleton, Kate's sister, is also expecting a baby. So there's all sorts of great news coming out of England, which is nice for the royal family, which went through some rough years as well. They did, and this year's the 65th anniversary of the coronation, which is huge when you think of the Queen's commitment to the nation and the Commonwealth. Prince Charles turns 70 later this year, so there's a lot to celebrate. And, and Americans finally care, thanks to the crown. Victoria, <laughs> it's great to see you. Thank you for being here. We'll be right back. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.